Hey guys, Erin here with Hand Stamp Style and I am going to show you just a real quick tip for today on <clears throat> how to clean your precision base plate. I've been asked quite a bit um, if it, you know, uh, keeps its firmness, if that makes sense. And it really does. Although once you've used it, I just got done cutting like 110 different uh, elements for a project that I'm doing on this base plate. And I think I cut like 110 more of something else um, a couple of days ago. So this has got quite a bit of paper shoved into the little grooves from the die, right? But you can make it look brand new and it will feel like brand new. Like this area right here is completely flat. Like it doesn't feel like anything. So all you're going to do is get some packing tape and no um, lint rollers just do not work as well. They're not as strong. The stronger the tape the better this is going to be. And then you just turn it a little bit. Okay, once you get all the little pieces of paper off of your precision plate, you're going to realize that it feels just like it did when it was brand new. It is amazing. So if you take good care of your plate, it will last you a long time. And you can see there's no bowing. There's no bending. There's no anything. But I will show you, I've actually gone through these two plates um, while I was cutting out so many things. And you can see how they eventually start to crack along the side. Now, the only thing that I have noticed is that, um, my dog is freaking out. Um, the, because I did most of my cutting in the center of my plate and I didn't do it on the outside, you can see that my plates wore, they squished out a little bit more in the middle and eventually it was too wide for it to go through my big shot. So I'm actually going to crack these in half, break it down this way, and then I'll use this little piece for a while and this little piece for a while. And I would probably only use those on here. I haven't tried using the little pieces on my magnetic platform or my multipurpose platform um, by themselves. I don't know if there's any kind of um, chance that it would screw those up. So before you do it, you will, I guess, just know that if you try it, there's a chance that it might not be meant to work that way. Um, but if you even out your dies, then you don't have, you won't have the problem of it squishing and becoming wider in the center like, like mine has. But hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video and I hope to see you again in another video really soon. Do me a favor. If you liked this, share it with a friend. That would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You'll find a ton of cool stuff there and you'll probably get to hear Pico in another video. So you guys have fun. Take care. Be creative. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the lines.